Hello everyone and now welcome to game number three in the series between Sonic and Happy. Happy has spawned as the red undead over here on the top right hand side of the map, throwing down an altar of darkness and a crypt. Meanwhile, on the bottom left, we see the Altar of Elders, soon to be Ancient of War, and Moonwell already being placed down as well. This is game number three in the series, G Cup 77 Finals, and thank you for watching, thank you for listening. If you guys have not subscribed, please do so already. Leave comments, like, all of that jazz, as it definitely does help me as well. Views have been going down, but my love for the game is still going strong, but well number of hours in the day getting a little bit kind of tight so hopefully i can well i'll be able to continue to do this for a little while longer um at least until the warcraft 4 community can take over things from me anyways do i know more about warcraft 4 than you i definitely do not i just heard rumors probably the same rumors that you guys have heard as well but if they do if they and uh, meaning blizzard lets me know that there is a little bit more warcraft 4 coming um as soon as my NDA is up, I will definitely tell you about it, but do not take this as any sort of sign. I am just blabbering through the first two minutes here. All right. For those of you guys who want to support me a little bit more, um, I guess I'll include my PayPal and my Patreon link in the description of this particular video. Um, I, I think actually PayPal and Patreon uh, is about 50% of my, of my revenue right now. Attack. So getting enough just to pay for fast internet so I can upload all of my videos in a timely manner. Anyways, let's go ahead and break things down now. We can see that the Ancient of War already coming back across over here and it is going to hide back here and start dealing some damage to these two, three particular units. Demon Hunter should be popping out here in just a moment. Meanwhile, Death Knight will be making a little bit of a move as well and we'll see whether the Death Knight brings alongside any ghouls. Mean meanwhile, back across over here, we can see a second Ancient of War coming in from Sonic and the Acolyte is purposely trying to aggro but it is not getting ensnared. All right, there gets some damage instead. And you can see that Happy is just enjoying himself right now as this one particular, well, ghoul will get taken down. There it goes. It does get taken attack. down. Demon Hunter now making its way back off to the north. And a little bit of a, well, un um, unknown benefit is that because the Ogre Magi used so much of its mana on two early Bloodlusts, trying to clear that out a little bit later may be easier because you're not going to have Bloodlust then. We can see that there is a single lone wisp off to the north. Death Knight now just comes across. Are we going to see a detonation there? There it goes, taking down two units as the Demon Hunter looking to go after some of these ghouls. All right, there's a fly very, very much annoying me right now. I do not know why there are flies inside my house as the Demon Hunter, or it's a little gnat, my goodness, as the Demon Hunter trying to avoid the ensnare or the surround, and it looks as though there may be a four unit surround here. All right, this is actually going to turn into an immolation. So Sonic um, teching the immolation at the very last moment instead of getting mana burn, is he going to get a ghoul? That is the question. Gets to level two and is now teleporting away. Beautifully done there. And really takes some of the edge off of using an early scroll of town portal by getting that early early ghoul level two now on the demon hunter he's going to be heading off to the north Players ancient of war is in position attack. ogre magi let's take a look at his mana down to 125 we could see a mana burn here um or is he going to pick up boots of speed and now here we go there is the engaging that Demon Hunter taking a bit of damage. Ogre Magi trying to run its way over as we see the Forest Troll Trapper now taken down. Ogre Magi gonna get focused down here. Meanwhile, the Death Knight opting to instead do a little bit of creeping on his own. After the forced scroll of Town Portal, Happy is gonna get to level two without any serious issue as the Demon Hunter picks up a Wand of Mana Stealing. Now, Wand of Mana Stealing, not necessarily the best item here. But it is going to be quickly sold. Picks up a staff of teleportation. There was a mana burn that did not go down. As we do see a sentry ward from Happy. Alright, sentry ward from Happy is going to be revealed. Demon Hunter now chasing after the Death Knight. Demon Hunter is slightly faster, I believe. But lost sight in the dark as the Death Knight now retreats back home. We can see that we are teching the tier 2 over here by the Night Elf. Same thing for the Undead. Early stages of the game. A player's force not very, attack. very early deaths at all. As we are looking at the Demon Hunters and Archers just trying to do a little bit more creeping. 
the Demon Hunter getting the level 3 is going to be a big deal as it is able to mana burn off 100 mana. Now, are we going to see a Sentry Ward there? There is a Sentry Ward coming in from Happy as the Demon Hunter purposely ignores this. Not quite sure why. No, he is not going to ignore it now. Going to try instead get a mana burn off on that Death Knight. Death Knight now semi-low. There is Immolation again. And using that Immolation, just running around, dealing damage. This is something that you rarely ever see. If he was actually going to plan on using Immolation, he may have wanted to actually keep that Wanda Mana Stealing as another Mana Burn does go down. All right, let's take a look. That Cold Tower, the Halls of the Dead, able to do a little bit of cold damage, slowing down that Demon Hunter for at least a little while as he now looks to back off. We can see a Panda has been picked up, a and the Panda... Now looking to retreat all the way back here. Where's the Demon Hunter going? Demon Hunter now looking to at least go after some of these ghouls. He's now looking to back off once more. I guess he's just trying to buy time perhaps for the panda to get a little bit of experience. As we now see a Naga Sea Witch in play. Demon Hunter is going to be in a very big bit of trouble. He needs to be able to teleport and get away. Down to 140 or 135 hit points and dropping steadily is this Demon Hunter as the Demon Hunter now tries to finish things off. Are we going to see a mana burn onto the Naga Sea Witch again? Yes, we are. Demon Hunter now heads back off to the north. He, he may pick up a Zeppelin and get a free ride out of here. No, Staff of Teleportation isn't going to be enough. That final arrow would have killed the Demon Hunter. Instead, he makes it back home. Nicely done here. Death Knight now back across over here. Demon Hunter can get a big mana burn off once more to make sure that there is no Death Coil. There is that mana burn as we now see the Death Knight being forced to back off here. Ancient of War still taking a bit of damage. Naga Sea Witch is in play as well as we see the damage coming across the board. There's the mana burn again. Panda trying to get into position. Are we going to get a Breath of Fire? Yes, one skeletal minion down as the Death Knight sticks around to try and go after some more units. Panda now surrounded though, not really paying attention there. Panda down to 470 some odd hit points, trying to finish off a skeletal minion. Could easily do it, but still surrounded here. Maybe focus down a, a focus down a ghoul. There goes a ghoul, and now the demon hunter can easily perhaps finish off some things again. Death Knight now down to what 35 hit points. Uh, there is enough mana on the panda to steal it and then use a death coil to finish it off but i do not believe the death knight realized that he had the one of mana stealing all right death knight now heading his way back over here to the top right demon hunter going after the naga sea which who is relatively low on hit points down to 237 and falling drastically as the demon hunter is trying to catch back up meanwhile back in the center portion of the map panda now going after the death knight so it is a double hero chase all the way as it looks as though the Naga Sea Witch will be just fine with those boots of speed. Meanwhile, Skeletal Minion is now trying to hide in every witch corner. Now, we should be looking at a bit of a transition from both of these players now as they get into their final stage armies. Dryads and Bears, most likely the two units of choice coming in from Sonic. Meanwhile, Happy is going to be going for those Frostworms that we saw um, also earlier, but also perhaps getting those Obsidian statues. Death Knight is currently invisible, still wandering around. Demon Hunter is still wandering around here, as both sides not really knowing what their long-term goal and strategy is as of yet. So far, though, Sacrificial Pit not showing any sort of acolytes being sacrificed still as the Ancient of Wonders now being constructed. Death Knight is sitting at level 2, is going to be relatively low on hit points if it does lose that invisibility. Meanwhile, the Demon Hunter is still back across over here, and I'm looking attack. at where perhaps those awards are to figure out where if he knows that a Death Knight is currently invisible. There goes Cloak of Shadows, now dropped. Let's see what that Death Knight is possibly going to do. Demon Hunter, with a rejuvenation, now ready to perhaps get some mana burns off onto the Obsidian Statue, and that is a very big deal. What is the Demon Demon Hunter doing the Demon Hunter now going after the Crypt Fiend instead, but the Naga Sea Witch still getting in some of that damage still. And then Snare going down. Those Happy is going to be a little bit close on this Crypt Fiend. Crypt Fiend now trying to run back. Meanwhile, back over here on the bottom right hand side, Death Knight and um, could be no. D does he steal the item? No. Panda was right. Panda was right there to pick up. I believe was it a cloak of shadows? No. Death Knight now surrounded. That was an actual a horrible, horrible situation for Happy to be in as he is forced to teleport back home. 
Naga Sea, which is there to pick up a Circuit of Nobility, or, yeah, I believe it was a Circuit of Nobility. Death Knight now back down in the center. Why is he just standing there? A pig getting in his way. Not a sheep, a pig on this particular map. Getting in the way of the Demon Hunter. He did have a potion of lesser invulnerability, but will need to head back home. Heal back up, as we are going to be looking at Druids of the Claw. And that rejuvenation. True Shot Aura given to the Panda. Let's take a look at that Tome of Agility. Is it going to be picked up by the Panda? Most likely will be picked up by the Panda or the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter benefiting from agility just a bit more. Attack. Or you can be a professional Warcraft 3-year player and decide not to read books. All right, go ahead back over here. Panda, I guess, um, I guess the Asian hero does in fact like to read books. Demon Hunter, well, he is blind, so I can't... I can't... <laughs> say too much about him for not reading books maybe they don't offer those books in braille as the demon hunter now coming back across over here demon hunter now going after some units he does have that orb of venom so you can see him purposely hitting two separate ghouls to get that damage over time down now rejuvenation going back onto the demon hunter and i really like sonic leaving these attack. druids of the claw in druid form they have more mana Yes, they are a little bit more vulnerable, but as long as Sonic is keeping track of where his opponent's army is, he can convert them in time as needed. Now, coming back across in the center here, you can see a little bit of a, a creep camp clearing. The Null Warden and the Null Assassins. Dryad's going to be taking a lot of piercing damage there as we see the Null Warden finally getting shot down there. All right, Frost Nova coming in from that Lich. Orb of Corruption is now online and available counteracting that orb of venom a bit as we're looking at both sides here looking to go into the long-term game tree of life is about two-thirds to three-quarters of the way done and with that we are going to be seeing an expansion now set up happy on the other hand is now going into that boneyard and he is sitting at 49 over 50 supply I believe he is going to be mining for another three to four minutes. And after three to four minutes, really exploding into like the 75 supply cap, and maybe even, or perhaps trying to use items and trying to do a push there. But so far we've seen, oh, there was a mana burn, claws of attack plus six. What is going on? Healthstone pickup as the demon hunter is going to staff a teleportation away. Is it going to be able to make it away this time? Yes, it does. For the second time this game. A demon hunter, staffs of teleportation, allows him to escape sub 50 hit points. Demon hunter, I, I don't know if he is lucky or good, but somehow knew that he had to. He was able to slip back off to the north. However, he did leave behind claws of attack plus six, but he does end up taking a very, very important health stone. All right, let's go ahead. Breath of Fire going down after those units. Is the Demon Hunter going to be able to finish off that ghoul? Unholy Aura. Oh, there's that slow poison. One more slice should do it. Death Knight. Frostworm could easily get a little bit of damage there. As the Dryads perhaps should have started attacking that Frostworm. Slowing it down and getting in some damage over time. You can see that that one attack dealt about 90 damage to that Frostworm there. Um, very, very important as they are now going into the respective corners in order to get a little bit more items and gold. All right, Frostworm does deal a lot of damage to these heavy armor units. You can take a look at that over Overlord down to 530 hit points. One attack drops him pretty much instantaneously as we now see Brilliance Aura on the Death Knight. Mana and mana galore for the obsidian statues, the liches, the Naga Sea Witch, and that Death Knight. That is going to potentially be a problem. Also, the Brilliance Aura will help maintain some of the mana on those destroyers, as destroyers naturally have negative mana regeneration. Mana burn onto that Overlord there. He's trying to get away. He's getting up the hill and he gets taken down. It looks as though another. Is that another pipe? All right, people are going to be smoking. No, it is not. It is Django of Endurance. So it is going to be Endurance Aura instead, slightly attacking faster, slightly moving faster as well. So not only are you dealing more damage, you are attacking faster and you are moving faster oh, if you are a currently a ranged unit. Now, Frostworm. Still wandering around off to the north here. What? Where is he gonna go? You can see there are a couple of golden um, of creep camps left. Only two, and they are both in the side of Sonic. 
72 over 80 at about the 15 minute mark that sounds pretty much what i predicted meanwhile down over here 72 over 80 but he also has an expansion as well so extra gold for attack. sonic could turn into the deciding factor back across in the center panda now looking to engage here finish off the forest troll berserkers finish off the remaining units ogre magi now taking down wand of the wind a little bit of a, a double-edged sword right there with the destroyers in play and um, i believe there are going to be some destroyers you can see two obsidian statues um ready with those destroyers they can devour magic remove the roar remove also that very important wand of the wind and then start ending up dealing more damage back to the druids of the claw you can see upgrades level two armor upgrades now being added for those druids of the claw as well as you see a hippogriff now staying high overhead 50 over 80 wait how did 50 over 80 supply i thought happy was higher up did i actually click on the wrong building yes perhaps but there is still a lot of gold ready to go that's about two two minutes of gold being saved and some very nice items by happy i thought happy actually had a much larger army than he than he's currently showing um, not quite sure what Happy really plans to do here now. He is behind economically, and as I take a look at the board state, I gotta believe Sonic feels very confident. He does not need to engage right now. He knows he has the economic advantage. As we're looking at the ghouls going to every which corner. All right, let's take a look. Haunted gold mine. There's about five minutes left of mining at the main gold mines here. Moonwells are positioned all across the map. Shades keeping track here as Sonic is going to get attack. more and more dangerous as the level two armor upgrades have been completed. All right, 700 gold in the bank compared to 1,400 gold in the bank. Well, you cannot... Well, having gold in the bank doesn't do very much of anything. You have to invest it in something in order to try to take out your opponent. But try to dodge taxes better than Trump is what... <laughs> Sorry, I even went there. Um, as Happy is currently sitting in well, his base right now, not paying any taxes or any upkeep. Death Knight... <laughs> I can't believe I said that. Death Knight, Naga Siwich, Ghoul now coming across over here. It looks as though the Tree of Life will get taken down. Wisp, quick detonation there as the Hippogriffs are now in play. All right, couple of quick webs. You are now seeing a fight. Happy realizes this is not in a fight he wants to be a part of. Ghoul, wow, a Ghoul gets a quick teleport back home and is able to survive and live another day. He's going to be going back to that lumber line there. We are now up to about three minutes of storage as well, getting up to about 2,000 gold now. And that is a very, very big deal. He's trying to get more gold than his opponent, or at least uh, mine efficiently better. He does not have a very, very large army, though. So if a fight does ensue, he is going to be in trouble. Currently, Sonic is mining 14 gold a second compared to Happy's 10 only a 40% difference, even though double the amount of gold mines. But that is the upside and downside of having that larger army. Now, Sonic is playing this incredibly safe. He knows that this is um, game number three in this series. And going into game number four, up two to one, is a very, very big deal. If you can figure out what exactly your opponent is trying to do, well, and the well, figure out how attack. to properly engage against your opponent. We are now seeing ab abominations, frost worms now being added, more crypt fiends. So we are finally getting into that 70 plus army that I was talking about earlier. At this junction, though, we see his opponent going into high upkeep. High upkeep means that he is mining. I believe eight gold a second compared to his opponent's seven. This is one of the big reasons why um, you really do not want to get into high upkeep. High upkeep, seven gold or eight gold a second, even though you have twice as many bases as your opponent. Acolytes trying to find every which amount of gold that they can find as he now unsummons buildings and he is now sitting at 81 over 90 as well. This is going to be a very big deal. 88 over 90 upgrades, three, two upgrades going up against attack. three, zero upgrades. Happy is not going to be, well, joyful about that as we see three, two upgrades 
on the Night Elf, soon to be, well, n now being 3-3 three, three upgrades. 3-3 three, three upgrades on Hippogriffs. Roar, Endurance Aura, a minimum of 70 damage per attack from each of the pecs of those Hippogriffs. Very, very big damage. Big damage mitigation as well. 26% and percent damage mitigation as we're looking at the three zero upgrades on those frost worms crypt fiends there are currently only five of them out on the field i guess one to match every single hippogriff um, in play and that is going to be the the big big uh, difference if the hippogriffs are grounded so to speak by web then the frost worms are going to be able to tear apart all of those heavy armor units. However, if they are not grounded and are able to start pecking apart the high damage units in the back, that is going to be the big difference. We can see 3-3-3 three, three, three upgrades on the heroes going up against a 4-4 four, four, a four, four upgrade on the Night Elf side. So in terms of hero level, it is about the same, but we are now up to, what is that? That is going to be 8 hippogriffs in the air and now even adding in a fairy dragon all right supply count let's take a look 99 compared to 94 you are currently mining very little gold it would almost be better to stop mining at this point to get a little bit more gold back as we see the next fight getting into position there you go a little bit of damage and a staff of pres or a staff of preservation should be no no staff of preservation one bear down sonic lose may lose another bear there it goes what is happening that was two very very easy units to take down as we're now seeing an engagement here all right there we go there is junk what what was that all of those units are now just diving deep inside here and one hippogriff went well way 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 too far as we now see the demon hunter trying to rush into position here nagasi which now in the back line as breath of fire is going across multiple units hippogriffs now trying to poke around and as you see wow units are just getting torn apart left and right wand of the wind death knight now back down belt of giant strength everything is just absolutely falling apart bears are dying as sonic is losing a lot of his ground units acolytes being brought forth only to be uh, killed in pretty much a what a new york minute as the panda is now trying to get engaged here all right continuing fighting acolytes engaging ancients of war engaging a real drag out battle as the tree of eternity is slowly getting in on this fight as well all right let's take a look are the frost worms going to be going after any big units panda the demon hunter gets taken down lich now up to four as sonic is in trouble dryads are now back over here everyone is having fallen units but strangely enough the frost worms can deal a lot of damage here perhaps going after some of the bears is going to be important as well death knight does have enough mana right now going after some of those bears gets in another death coil units are still trying to flee frost worm down to two 300 hit points death knight now going staff of teleportation being transferred and the panda escapes at 50 some odd hit points units are now going to go back the other way obsidian statue in that backfield it looks like that, as though that's going to get taken down. More Hippogriffs are joining in on the fight. A reveal, Death Coil, saving that one unit there. As we now see Frost Nova attempting to finish off more units again. Dryads are pretty much the only thing that is left behind here. The Obsidian Statue is still somehow alive. As the Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire coming across, missing the Obsidian Statue still. All right, Dryad in the backfield here. However, it's going to be separated from the rest of those units. One Dryad down. Another Dryad could get taken down there. It looks as though, yes, it is down. Death Knight at five. As we see, the Quip Fiends are coming out of the ground to join in on the fight again. Death Knight still coming over. Frostworm now coming in. Who has the larger army? 43 over 100 compared to 29 over 100. Not, um, you can't really tell who's going to be winning this as the units are coming back across again. So far, Obsidian Statue in the backfield. Units are now trying to run in the back. Death Knight trying to stay alive here. Death Coil saving the Frostworm. Go after the Dryads and then your Frostworm is going to be super powerful as we now see another Dryad going to get taken down. There it goes. Bear now going to get taken down. Breath of Fire coming across. Obsidian Statue gets destroyed by a bear. Wand of the Wind. No, no destroyers left as the panda still trying to get away. Panda gets taken down. Bear now coming back the other way. Bear going to get taken down as well as we see the Tree of Eternity doing the slow trek to get away. All right. Frostworm. 
coming across gonna go ahead launch a slow attack and that is gonna be the end of that bear lich may no should not get to level five here lich is trying to get closer not gonna get there though unless the naga sea witch backs off enough and it looks as though yes the lich does get the experience all by himself and now well 23 over 100 compared to 34 over 100 but you are mining gold but not much gold left demon hunter is back out on the field dryads are here what is happening death knight lich what is really going on sonic is trying to establish a tree of life off over there this tree of life is in position as well as the tree of life is slowly taking damage the army 36 over 100 and a lot of that is currently wisp out on the map acolytes are unsummoning buildings in order to perhaps train up a handful more units crypt fiend and an obsidian statue being added as well you can see the tree of eternity getting into position to try and entangle this gold mine once more get every bit of gold out of this gold mine here as you can see oh are we gonna see a frost nova on the wisp let's take a look at that there's the entangle there's a frost nova there getting in some easy damage as the as the tree of eternity now taking some damage back across here all right this tree of life going to entangle this gold mine how did a 3-0 army Lou beat a 3-3 army when they properly countered each other that was all based on positioning as the demon hunter now needs to get into position as well one obsidian statue keeping this small but very very powerful tactical army alive there goes one hippogriff again anti-magic potion we may see some more mana burns as well there you go there goes another lich is in trouble death knight does have death coil ready to go lying and ready wait why what are you waiting for there you go turning around and now enjoying that fight once again sonic is in trouble he does not have enough to really combat the rest of this army scroll of town portal dodges the death coil as the hippogriff is going to teleport away all right where is the scroll of town portal panda back across over here demon hunter over here we see some engaging now happening down down to about well 30 gold 31 over 100 all the moon wells have been got or have been taken out staff of preservation is now being added all these moon wells are now bone dry but it is nightfall panda trying to get into position panda could go to earth storm and fire at any moment now as we come into this big fight here there goes the melting of a hippogriff out of the skies in pretty much a moment a breath of fire coming into play panda however has no way of attacking air demon hunter trying to rush into the backfield trying to finish off that death knight potion of invulnerability on sonic's demon hunter demon hunter trying to finish things off panda needs to get a breath of fire off and well perhaps try and get to level six for earth storm and fire it is not looking good staff of teleportation is he going to be able to escape he is able to escape as the demon hunter falls Frostworm now down to 36. Well, when, well, Frostworm down to 36 hit points and survives again. As we are seeing some more mining still happening in this game. Panda in big trouble. He is by himself. No extra experience at all. Death Knight, Naga Sea Witch, and Lich all sitting at level 5. And Gold Maintenance of happy just absolutely spectacular singing at 29 over 40 supply right now but it can still be anyone's game the big deal is that the obsidian statues and the death knights with their mana it is acting as an another resource keeping these units alive and and basically a tr trading mana for units that's all that happy is doing right now as this expansion or I, what I got to call the last mining base is going to get taken down. Coming back across here, 1300. Demon Hunter is about halfway out. Panda heading off to the north. Is he going to be able to finish off, find an Acolyte? Is the Acolyte going to give him enough experience? No, it is not. Well, what is he doing? He's just, he's just trying to take down a Black Citadel to perhaps reveal his opponent. Um, that's not actually the best use of anything at all as you can see the breath of fire is still going down actually hitting the nerubian tower in the back as well 
that's actually oh what is this is it gonna get taken down death knight now in play death coil comes in breath of fire and now staff of teleportation in order to get back out dryads find the frost worm out in open field and now the dryads are going after the obsidian statues however the remaining heroes are going to be coming in after these units they are immune to magic though so the dryads will be able to get back down and away wow losing or having the death knight pull away then having the panda pull back also that the dryads could start poking that was uh, I, I don't know if that was idiotic or brilliant but all at the same time very very entertaining as this is still anyone's game 30 over 80 compared to 29 over 30 moon wells now adding in additional resources staff of preservation saving that unit there teleporting it well I don't know where it teleports when there is no oh no no tree of life being built off over here but it is still not up and running yet all right that tree of life will most likely get canceled but it is going to force the death knight into uh into a corner here which is not a good position at all there you go death coil frost nova as the hippogriffs are going after the units death knight running away from the demon hunter demon hunter now all the units are now backing off panda's now in position here hippogriffs are trying to finish off that frost worm there panda now in trouble cyclone is it going to be able to staff a teleportation away no staff a preservation away as the hippogriff to finish off the frost worm does that give level six to the panda panda now sitting at level six so we have earth storm and fire all right i still have no idea who's gonna win this game as the dryads are unable to finish an obsidian statue at 10 hit points army 22 over 30 demon compared to i believe is it 30 over 80 all right two um, one big loss as the breath of fire goes across multiple units again earth storm and fire ready to go are we gonna see a cyclone yes we are and destroyer is gonna go ahead and devour magic that units are now trying for the engagement dryads going after the units here are is this one destroyer gonna get taken down oh frost nova fork lightning finishing off the hippogriffs hippogriff gonna get taken down there it goes a big big swing once again as the demon hunter goes after those units cyclone now being used lich being forced to stick around as it lands back down death coil gonna go ahead and now staff of teleportation away the lich stays alive at 400 hit points 24 over 30 compared to 24 over 80 both sides I, I really don't know what to tell you guys at this point. I really don't. Ancients of Lore can be picked up and they can slowly walk over to their opponent's base without the frost worms. The, the threat of having a frost worm one shot a building is now significantly less. All right. Um, did he eat trees so that the wisp could get out? All right, that was, that was interesting. All right, he ate a tree so the wish could get out. We are now 33 minutes into this game. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the, what a crazy battle going back and forth right now. The Obsidian Statue getting healed up by the Death Knight. And that is pretty much the only thing that can heal the Obsidian Statue now. Do we have any more gold? Yes, we do, but not very much of anything. Perhaps the Acolyte should be repairing um, some of these guys off over here as we see in the Ancient of Wind. Oh, Ancient of Wind taking some damage very very fast. Ancient of Lore also coming in as well. They do have the upgrades, but this is not a good spot to be in. Every building matters right now as we are now looking at a big fight. Let's see what's happening here. Dryad coming across. Oh, perhaps we're waiting on Earth Storm and Fire cooldown. That could be the big deciding factor on why Sonic does not want to engage just quite yet. Another Ancient of Lore now taken down as well. And that is, well, problematic. What are we going to be seeing? Units are now trying to run back here. Dryad's getting in some slow poison. There's a Frost Nova onto the Panda. As we now see, well, the Dryad's now trying to get back away. No Druids of the Claw for Rejuvenation. Why? What exactly is Sonic doing? Why is Sonic not is engaging properly? All right, let's take a look back over here. Another Ancient of Wonder is going to get taken down. There's a Tree of Life right there. Demon Hunter is in trouble. Demon Hunter gets taken down. Too much. Too much. Too much. Um, too much of a hero nuking between the Death Knight, Naga Sea Witch, and Lich. There it goes again. 
and in the final 20 seconds, Happy comes out victorious with a huge, monstrous hero score. Happy mining six, 5,000 gold less than his opponent, but still coming away with the victory. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.